I give my dog a lot of cuddles in there. Prince William and Prince Harry had an adorable encounter while visiting crowds outside Windsor Castle. The brothers each had a special moment with Italian Greyhound Luna over the weekend while talking to crowds gathered to pay their respects following Queen Elizabeth's death. The Prince of Wales was shaking hands when he saw little Luna in the crowd. While talking to her owner, he shared how his dog has been helping him as he mourns his grandmother's death. His younger brother, Prince Harry, also had a cute encounter with Luna. The Duke of Sussex was shaking hands when he looked down and smiled when he saw the dog. Will and Harry weren't alone during their visit outside Windsor Castle. They were joined by their wives, Catherine, Princess of Wales, and Meghan Markle. A spokesperson for William reportedly told multiple outlets that the Prince of Wales had invited Harry and Meghan to join him and Kate, with a source telling People magazine that William thought the move was, quote, an important show of unity at an incredibly difficult time for the family. William and Harry have had a strained relationship over the past few years. Before their joint public outing, DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston had talked to Axe Hollywood about the possibility of the brothers reuniting and the hopes the Queen had for them to mend things. The Queen was really the one who fought to keep the door to the Sussexes open. Now, we do know that King Charles III has plans for a much more slimmed down monarchy. He wants to cut back costs. He really wants to modernize the royal family as far as the official aspect of the monarchy is concerned. And he has shown very little patience for members of the royal family who don't toe the line. He was the one who very much pushed to have his brother, Prince Andrew, sidelined after he was embroiled in the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. And I have no doubt that Charles will take the exact same route when it comes to Harry and Meghan. Now, with regards to familial relations behind the scenes, I think the Queen's hope, and indeed right up until her dying day, it was her desire to see Harry and William mend that rift. Whether they will be able to do so without her presence remains to be seen, but I do think it would be an incredible tragedy if her passing didn't do at least something to help them mend that bridge that has been broken now for so long.